What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Episode. Today is a very special day because I am bringing you guys some live footage of 0.14.0. That's right, uh, the update was officially released yesterday, or at least the beta version of the update. So if any of you guys are on Android, you can go ahead and try to grab it yourself and play along. So today... I thought I would go ahead and try out some of the awesome new features. Just a few of them, though, because I don't want to do all of them at the first day. You know, I want to stretch it out a little bit. But today, we do have some pretty cool stuff in mind. I thought I would finish up the ticket booth I was talking about last episode. Also, make some item frames, maybe make a map, and then try to work with some pumpkins and maybe dye some armor as well. Those are all the major things I have planned today. Let's start off with one that I, I'm just too excited to skip. We got to make a map. I, I really got to. I, I need it. I need it. I need a map. So, I think uh, what I need is a few sticks. I don't need that many. And uh, what's the other thing in the recipe? I don't know. Let's go to a crafting table and we'll see. I don't even know. Is it leather that I put on the inside? Or paper? No, it wouldn't. Be, it would be paper, I think. I think it would be paper. Hold on. Ah, no! Leather would make item frames. We'll go grab some leather. Why not? We will give it a go. We will see. We will see. Is there leather in here? Oh, yes, there's plenty of it. There is plenty. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then paper, paper. Oh, it would be over here, right? With the sugar cane? Oh, I just got to make some. Yep, that should be fine. We can go ahead and do that really quick, and uh, I can work on that. So we'll go ahead, run back over to the crafting table, and work on creating our map and item frame. I cannot wait. This is going to be awesome. Also, for the map, I forgot I am going to need to make a compass as well. So we'll go ahead and finish that up. So we will, not a compass. Oh, I do need a compass. I just got stuff for a clock. What am I doing? <laughs> There we go. So I will make up the compass. I think I made it a little bit more paper, and we should be able to make a map somewhere. Where would that be? Where would that be? Well, here are the item frames. I'll, go, I'll just make one. We'll just make one. But where's the map? Where? Where's the... Where's the map? Where, where? Come on now. Oh, oh, it's right there. It just looks exactly like paper. All right, so we can make this empty map and check it out. I cannot wait to open this bad boy up. So we will go ahead and... Hold it out, but not hold it out just yet. I want to generate it while I can see it. So, oh, this is this is the feature that I was most excited for, and I have no idea why, but I thought, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's try it, let's try it out, let's try it out. Let's go ahead and open it up, and tap, wait, what? Noob Central, what am I doing here? Oh, oh, did you just hit something with it? Oh, <laughs> look at that. That is so cool. Check it out! Look at this! <laughs> this feels so funny to walk around with! Look at me go! <laughs> this is crazy! Oh, I never thought this day would come. Alright, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go up to my anvil and see if I can change the, the features about this. Because I think you can zoom it out or zoom it in. I don't know. I want to try this. I definitely want to try this. This is gonna be so sick! So let me see. Oh, what? what? Where's my anvil? Where? What? All right, uh, I guess I'm gonna go make another anvil. <laughs> we'll do that really quick. I'll run over and I will try this out. Oh, also, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to try putting it inside of an item frame. We could try that as well. Hold on, first let me get this anvil done. Anvil has been made. So we'll go ahead and drop the anvil down right here and let's check out the map. Now, can I just zoom out the map? Like, can I, what do I have to put in there? I don't know. I do not know. I will learn that later, but I'm pretty sure you can zoom out of maps. Anyways, let's try putting this on a wall in an item frame. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, right here would be a really good spot to do it. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we'll place uh, the item frame right here. And let's see, what does this look like if I put, let's say, my shovel in there? Oh my good, oh my goodness, look at that. That is so cool, that is so, so cool. Okay, so if I put the map in there, it's just going to show up as a map, and that is ridiculous. Ridiculous! So I could add maps around the area. Okay, well let's go ahead and make that second. Oh, let's go make that second map. We gotta go make that second map. I want to try adding a little bit to our big world up here. Okay, so we'll make an empty map, and I'll generate the map. Um, above? Do I go above? All right. So where do I go? I'm gonna go behind or no? I want to. Hmm. That really has everything, to be honest. I'll go behind the hockey rink. We'll go up there and generate the rest of the cemetery. 
All right, so I'm racing up the hill, and I did see a little bit of the cemetery in here, but I did not see the full thing. So what I'm thinking is if I go over here, I'm going to first run into a few bad guys, so we'll have to try to get rid of them as soon as possible. Uh, oh, come on now. There we go. Okay, now if I open up this map and use it here... Is that gonna- Oh, okay, that should. Okay, I think that I think that worked. Alright, where am I going? Where am I going? Alright, now, I'm gonna go down this tunnel, and, um, I should be able to place this map right above what I just did, and it should connect and make a beautiful two-part map. I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be cool. And I think you can go as big as you want to, but I'll probably just go three by three and stuff it on that wall. For now. I don't know where I want to move it later, but I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Anyways, let's make one more item frame here, and let's try and see what we got going if I put this above, and then place the new map right there. I think, yes, it does line up! Look at that! It lines up perfectly. I don't know why this one's a little bit lighter, but it does line up, and that looks good. Gorgeous! Absolutely gorgeous! So now we got a nice map going! So, um, that's that. That's one thing I wanted to try. But I also really, really wanted to try some dying. Some dying, some dying, some dying. So let's see if I make some more cauldrons. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where, how do, how do you make cauldrons? What, what is the recipe for cauldrons? Oh, it's right there! Okay, I knew it was just out of iron. Alright, so there we go. We can make two cauldrons, which will be pretty cool. We can try this out. I will also need to go quickly grab a water bucket. There we go. We'll just bring three, just because we have three. And I also want to try to bring some dye. Let's see what we got here. So, I can make a few different types of dye here. I've got orange dye, which will be pretty cool. Uh, I can make red dye. I can make pink dye. And, um, I think that's good. I think that's good. So we'll start off with those three colors, and then maybe- well, hmm. Hmm. I can make pink dye another way. And then you know what? Oh, I have purple right here. Okay, we have plenty of dyes. Oh, wait, I have ink sacks? I did not know I had ink sacks either. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll make some boots out. Okay, I have some good ideas. We're going to be making a nice set of clothing, and I will go ahead and just get a few more iron ingots here so I can make a few more cauldrons than expected, and we will try this uh, design out. Oh, my goodness. I did not mean to put you there. <laughs> Come down. Oh, not you too? Oh, geez. What, 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 what's going on here? I need to put that back. There we go. All right, time to make some armor, but I think I got to get rid of some stuff in my inventory. So we'll just put away a few things here, including um, some of this cobblestone that can go, and um, and I guess this coal can as well, and uh, the compass. I don't need any of that. All right, now let's get to more cauldrons. So we'll just make these three cauldrons, and I'll run over to the cauldron room, which is going to be the new and improved cauldron room, and uh, that's going to be right over by the back door. So the room that I I have never assigned anything to, and I don't have anything for, is going to be the cauldron room. I've been waiting for so long to build something in here, and I think it's going to be the dying slash cauldron room, and I'll put a ton of cauldrons in here, and it'll look absolutely gorgeous. So we'll take off the under construction sign, and we'll see what we can do here with some cauldrons. Um, so we'll place these right here, and then maybe right here, and then maybe that's it? Uh, no. Along the back wall as well. I like it. All right, so now that we got a floor that allows us to see inside, I'll change this all later, but these are the cauldrons. So if I add water to them, I should get a nice, nice water-filled cauldron, which is pretty sweet. And, uh, and then I think you can change the dye inside of these cauldrons. Yes, we got a purple one. Uh, I will also make an orange one, and I will also make a black one. Now... Oh, that looks, that looks awfully Halloween-y right there. All right, so now if I go over to a crafting table, halloween is very funny. <laughs> if I go over to a crafting table and I make different sets of armor, I should be able to dye these up. Now, obviously, the boots need to be black. They got to be black, so we'll make some black boots. Yes, yes, yes. We can also make, um, we'll put those on. Just try those out. Oh, yes, that looks glorious. Um, and then maybe we make the hat. The hat could be orange. Uh, I don't. I'm not into purple shirts, so we'll make the hat. No, make the shirt orange. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so we'll get the orange shirt on. We really should have done blue for the jeans. Should we go? Should we go get some blue? I think I'm gonna go get some blue. Be right. Back. I have grabbed the blue. It is now time to try out the blue. Now, oh wait a second. I may have to take the water out of this first. Can I do that with the bucket? I can't. Can I break the cauldron? I can. 
Good, all right, well that works. So I'll place the cauldron back. This time I will have to grab a little bit more water and just to make sure, I didn't know if it was gonna mix colors and I only brought one blue, so I didn't wanna waste it if I if it was going to do that. So we'll jump over, oh, can I just? I can, I can, I can, take a little cheat right there. And uh, now I should be able to dye up a nice coat of, oh, how is the, wait, is the water gonna look like just darker blue? Yeah, it just looks a lot bluer. Okay, so now that there's blue in there, we can get this going where I put in the blue jeans and get some nice blue jeans. Look at that. Now, I just need, um, just need a color on the shirt. Or on the hat, I mean, and uh, that's all. But yeah, there we go. We can make a nice, a nice uh, formal dress attire for when I'm going out to a, some sort of spot. I don't know. Very, very cool idea. So uh, I'll just go ahead and put this extra stuff into a chest, and we can move on to the next thing that I really wanted to try, uh, and we'll do that after I clear out this inventory. So the next thing I am dying to try about with, with this update um, is something a little bit different. It's uh, something you may find silly. It's very simple. I just want to put a pumpkin on my head. I just want to see. I just want to see what all the hype's about. Oh my goodness. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's awesome. Look at this. Definitely not going to be doing this for too long, but it does... It does bring a nice little change to things. So, there we go. I just thought I had to do it. I thought I had to. We'll put the pumpkin back, though. Oh, I gotta take it off first. There we go. Put that on, and uh, we'll put the pumpkin back. So then we got the pumpkin back. I'll go ahead and try to exclude, or get some of uh, this extra junk out of the inventory. And we can then work, oh, that's not where the redstone goes. We can then work on some new things that I have not done just yet, and uh, I'll get started on that in just a sec. So, now that we have got all of that done, I want to work a little bit, oh geez, just, just, no, 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 I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I want to work a little bit on the ticket booth. I know I talked about this, and I have a really, really good idea. It was a suggestion sent in by Real Ham Oween on Twitter, and I thought I would go ahead and try it out and check out this design, guys. It is crazy. So, right here is where I'm going to put a popcorn machine. This is an idea a lot of people had. You know what, maybe, maybe I bring it, I think I'm gonna bring it right here. Wait, do I wanna do that? Yeah, I do. So the popcorn, <laughs> sorry for that silence. So the popcorn machine's gonna go right here. And, um, and then what I need to do is I need to add a few thingies to this popcorn machine, including um, a nice little kind of side design. No, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not now. Right here is where the side design, no, oh my, I missed it again. I literally missed it again. No, it goes right here. So it's like kind of, I don't know, it sticks out. It's like a little tray where you get the popcorn. Next up, we've got to put something on top, which I forgot to grab. So I'll just keep the suspense going for a second here. I will be right back. No worries, no worries, no worries. This is really gonna be this difficult. It's really gonna be this difficult. It's really gonna be this difficult. I don't have glass. <laughs> I do not have a single piece of glass. Not I have glass panes, but I need a I need a regular glass. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up, and uh, <laughs> and then I can get to build. All right. So now that that is out of the way, and we don't have to talk about me not having glass on this survival series after what's 60 episodes, we can go ahead and place the glass on top, and then place this red carpet on top of that to finish off the popcorn machine. Now a really cool part about this on the design I saw was uh, the wheels on the side and it was a very very nice idea so I gotta you gotta give props the dude the dude made a great design he made a fabulous design so we'll put these two wooden trap doors on the sides and it makes the wheels that you can wheel around the popcorn machine on now, they're pretty big wheels but uh, they get the job done so that's the popcorn machine in action now another thing that I really liked was there was a soda machine um, and I can't do it right now just because I don't have different colored blocks well I guess I would do I guess I could do it with the red but it's just not gonna have the same effect. But I'll show you guys what he did was um, he put oh I want to do this He didn't do this, but I want to do this I want to make uh, like different colored soda things So I guess if I had red it would be like coke and then what I would do is I would put uh, Levers which I do not Can't make what where what what's going on here? Let me make a lever. There they, they always hide from me. <laughs> there they are. Okay, so place a lever right here and then go down. And then another really, really cool part about this is if I place a half slab, let's say uh, these dark ones, just to add a little bit of a variation. So we put these half slabs down, right? And, uh, oh, 
Okay, there we go. There we go. Next up, what we got to do is I need clay pots. So I'm just going to break this one really quick just to be fast with it. Place a clay pot underneath that so it looks like you're filling up sodas at a soda machine. Very nice idea. I thought it would be a pretty cool one to do, but I've got to work on that a little bit later. And then to actually finish off the counter, I think it would just make sense to just do something like that. And so that you go around the counter right here. I don't know. So we'll, we'll clear this up later, but that is the basic gist of it. I'm just really stoked about this popcorn machine. We'll have different stuff on this side. We'll have prices all over the place. It'll be a pretty cool design, and then maybe we can stuff a villager back here later. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but that is the basic design of, of the dealio so far. And uh, that is that, and that is that. What else can we work on today? We can work on slaying all sorts of monsters, shablang, shablang. Blang, huh? No, no. All right. Well, I tried. What else? What other new features are there in this update that I really, that I really could easily try? Out? What's, what's something very simple that I missed out on? I don't want to use. I don't want to go find a witch or anything like that. We're gonna make that a big occasion. But what's something small that I can just do right around here? I don't know. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna see. I can see if I can think of anything. The redstone stuff I will, of course, do later. But I was thinking maybe. I mean, just maybe. I could bring a compass with me, and we can go explore. I don't know. We can just go. Yeah. We'll, we'll, let's just let's just go explore and see if I can visit that swamp. Because if I find some slimes, I may just be able to make a slime ball and that or slime block, not ball. <laughs> well, get the slime balls. I don't know where the swamp is though. But um, I'll give it my best shot. We'll see if we can go find one. All right, so going past the swimming pool and the blacksmith, I shall be heading this way. I don't know, like I said, where the swamp is, but I know it is somewhere in this direction. I've been to it before. Not exactly sure exactly where. That was redundant. Not really. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go this way, and hopefully we can come across the swamp. And as Noah once did in the old ages, Jack Frost Miner has built... A boat. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, let's see if we can find one. Is this looking swampy at all? I don't know. I don't know. No, it's looking uh, looking very foresty to me. Uh, I don't know about this, guys. I don't know. Well, we'll give it my. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, I gotta eat up a little bit. Gotta eat up a little bit. Gotta eat up a little bit. And I will eventually have to attack some of these uh, some of these mobs down here to get them more food along the journey. I'm not seeing if I'm not seeing the swamp though. If I can't find the swamp, I will search for it off camera, and we will visit at the beginning of next episode, which will be Thursday. So, if I can't find one now, we'll just come back Thursday. But I, I don't know. I have confidence. I have confidence. Guys, I have confidence in me. Uh, we'll see. We will see if we can find this. So, as far as I can see, either way, you shouldn't have confidence in me anymore. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna be finding the swamp. I really thought there was one back here, and I know I've been I've, I've been to one um, This let's play series. I just don't remember exactly which way it was and which way I had to go to get there So what I'll do is at the beginning of the next episode Hopefully we can just start at a swamp and and then try to collect some swamp uh, Some swamp buddies like slimes and uh, try to gather as much slime balls as possible and um, and then make a nice little slime block collection so we can try bouncing around and having a little bit of fun on those. But for now, I don't see the swamp, so I will call it off for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy, please go ahead and smash that like button below. I will, of course, explore all sorts of other 0.14.0 features in the coming update series. No, no, in the coming days on this series. So um, if you're interested, just go ahead and stop by. Uh, Next time we may play a little bit more with redstone because there are a ton of different redstone things that I did not get over um, in this episode. But there's also a few other things as well. So stay on the lookout, especially if you're interested in the Let's Play series and, and, and what I do with these new features. I think it's going to be very, very fun. Anyways, that is basically it. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.